G'day everyone, Jasko here. Um, I've got a leak on my Freelander, looks like an oil seal. 1.8, see if you look here. If you look over here, and if you look up, it's it's dripping off here, off the sump, but if you follow it further up, I, I know it's not from the sump, because see, it's only on this side. It's actually coming from... Okay, so ensure that you get your um, operating temperature to normal. We actually can't see the light <coughs> down here is not too good, but we know that if we so if we take a right down here Okay. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to use this tool to lock the flywheel, okay? See two bolt holes? It just goes down there in the opening. So, what we're going to do is we're going to set the timing on the timing belt. And once we've set the timing, we're going to use this to lock the flywheel. And then we're going to go ahead and remove both of these... Well, we're going to take off the timing belt, remove both of these camshafts to see... to change the oil seals, okay? Okay, now what has to happen is the in mark must align to face the exhaust mark. See, I've marked it over here and here. So until that happens... What we do is we turn the crankshaft. Okay. This bolt up here. And we check it. Okay, so now that we have them aligned, I think we're going to use this tool to lock them. So there they are, see, correctly.
Okay, so to remove the camshafts, camshafts sprockets, these things, you're going to need a pulley holder, okay, a gear holder, and a wrench. Okay, and what you do is you hold the pulley and you pull the bolt. Okay, so now that you've got the bolts loosened, what you can do yeah. is go ahead and remove the sprockets, just like I'm going to do for this one. Okay, so this is the left one being removed as we speak. You see that? There's the bolt, and the sprocket comes shortly afterwards. See that? Simple. Alright, removed. So just label them so you know. So this is our left one. Okay. And if you get the text out, you just draw a little L for left on there. So, left, see that? And after you remove the left one, you go ahead and remove the right hand one. So there's, again, the bolt comes off. See, because we already slackened it, with the special tool, we can remove it right off. Okay. And finally, we can get to our leaking oil seal. Okay, there it is, see? All done. Okay, so there's our leaking seal, that one, see right down there. If we run our little finger, see that? Until there's been a leak. See? To test if it's this one, and it will.
Okay, so you put the new seal in here. You can see over here, brand new uh, oil seal. Okay, there it is there. Okay. Nice and flush. Okay. We put this one in as well, but we have to push it in a little bit more. And what I like to do is I like to use an old seal. See, same type. What you do is just fit it around. Okay, fit the flat side up against the new seal. So gently just see that like that, pull it up. And with the old seal up like that, what I do is just push it in a little bit more with my fingers. See, just not too much. Okay, done. See, nicely pushed in. Okay, so there's two different part numbers for oil seals on the front of the camshaft as opposed to the rear of the camshaft. Okay, so for the for the front of the camshaft, your part number is here it is here. Your part number is this one. Okay. Okay, but for the rear of the camshaft, this is your part number. So these two are 290, these two are 220. Okay, big difference. If you put the wrong one on here or the wrong one on here, the only thing that's going to happen is they're going to start leaking. Okay, prematurely. So, okay, there's that one. And there's that one. And we didn't have to take off the timing belt. See, the timing belt is just hanging off there. Didn't even have to take off the engine mount. We just took the cover off. Gave a bit of a clean up over here. See, cleaned up some of the stuff and sludge here. We're going to put that back on and see how we go.